if you're in the computer field, uh, from the very beginning, you're going to be the first in a lot of things. I've never since uh, never been in as exciting an environment. We knew we were pushing back frontiers. In February of 1946, six months after World War II had ended, America learned of a secret army project called ENIAC. It was the first all-electronic digital computer. Yet the tale of ENIAC's programming by a group of young women has been all but erased from computer history. During World War II, the U.S. had assembled a crew of nearly 100 mathematically trained women whose official title was computer. Women who were computing complex ballistic trajectory equations by hand and using mechanical desktop calculators. In the spring of 1945, six were selected to figure out how to program the ENIAC machine. Fran Bielis, Betty Jean Jennings, Ruth Lichterman, Kathleen McNulty, Betty Schneider, Marlon Westkoff. We were computing ballistic tables on a hand calculator. We were computing, and we were computers. There were logical diagrams of the ENIAC, and we were supposed to study them to figure out how to program it. ENIAC became a legend. Eckhart and Mockley became famous. However, the ENIAC programmer story, the story of these six women founders who created the first sort routine, first software application, and became the first teachers of modern programming, was never told. Their work dramatically altered computing in the 1940s and 1950s as they paved the path to modern computer science. At that time, the emphasis was on the invention of the ENIAC, I mean, developing the mechanics, the hardware. We were like fighter pilots. I mean, here was this great, great machine, but you couldn't just take any ordinary pilot and stick him into a fighter pilot and say, go to it now, man. I mean, that was <laughs> not the way it was going to be. I had a fantastic life. Everything I did was the beginning of something new. I really loved working with those girls.